In this video, I'm looking at 12 of the best free VST plugins for guitarists. Things like amp sims, effects, and impulse response loaders. I'm Zane, welcome to Simple Green Tech, where I do weekly audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you conquer the tech and unleash your creativity. Now, just so you know, links to all of the plugins mentioned in this video, along with timestamps for each one, are down in the description. So head down there to check those out. And now let's get into the list of best free VST plugins for guitarists. And first up on the list is the Ignite Emissary 2.0 plugin from STL Tones. This is a great modern amp, and if you're into heavier styles of music, you should really grab this one. It can deliver modern distortions or nice bright cleans, plus all the overdriven, crunchy goodness that's in between. Emissary 2.0 is modeled after the physical Emissary Tube amp. I've never used the physical amp, so I don't know how they compare, but this plugin sounds great and it's easy on your CPU. You can get Emissary 2.0 on Windows and Mac. This next plugin is bundled with the Emissary 2.0 plugin. This is Nadir. This is a great impulse response loader that actually comes with some very usable impulse responses. You can load more than one at a time, plus it gives you some mix controls. And if you're not familiar with what impulse responses are, they can emulate the sound of a guitar cabinet and various speakers. So you can find a lot of free guitar cabinet impulse responses, and then you can change up your cabinet as you need. You can use this plugin with any amp sim that doesn't have a cabinet sim included. Or you can record hybrid going from your actual amp into your DAW and use this as the cabinet. Nadir comes with the emissary bundle, like I said, and it's available on Windows and Mac. Next up is Kawasa Lite. This one is pretty straightforward and easy to use. It features three channels, clean, rhythm, and lead. And it also features a built-in impulse response loader so you can add a cabinet without the need for another plugin. Or you can use another plugin and leave it off. You can get Kawasa Lite on Mac and Windows. Now, before I get to the next free VST plugin on the list, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this video and getting some value out of it, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, back to the free VST plugins for guitarists. And next up on the list is Black Rooster Audio TT15. This one is modeled after the Orange Tiny Terror tube amp. It can give you nice cleans, plus the crunch and distortion that Orange amps are known for. The layout is straightforward and easy to use, plus it includes a 212 amp cab sim that you can turn on or off. And you can get Black Rooster Audio TT15 on Windows and Mac. Next up is Amplitube Custom Shop. This is basically a free version of Amplitube 4 with 24 pieces of gear, which includes a digital chromatic tuner, nine stomp boxes, four amps, five cabinets, three mics, two rack effects, and more. 
You can use this as a standalone program or a plugin in your DAW or digital audio workstation. Amplitube Custom Shop is available for Mac and Windows. Next up is Nick Crow 8505. This is an emulation of a tube lead amp head. It has simple controls so you can dial in your tone just like you would on a real amp. You'll need to use your own impulse response plugin after this as it doesn't include a cabinet emulation. You can get Nick Crow 8505 on Mac and Windows. Next on the list are actually a couple of effects pedal sims. There's the TSE R47 and the TSE 808. So first up, the TSE R47. This is an emulation of the classic Rat Distortion pedal. If you're familiar with the Rat Distortion pedal, you can see that this plugin has a very similar layout, but it also offers you a stereo output switch so you can use this with other sources like synthesizers or even drums. The next pedal plugin is the TSE 808, which is an emulation of the Tube Screamer pedal. And again, this one has a very similar layout to the real pedal, plus you get that stereo switch. You can get both of these pedal plugins on Mac and Windows. Next up on the list of free VSTs for guitarists is Shattered Glass Audio Ace. This one is an emulation of a legendary 50s Fender all tube 5 watt tweed amp. You also get two of the most common amplifier mods and it also includes impulse responses based on speaker emulation. You can get this one on Windows and Mac. Next on the list is Tone Deluxe version 2 from Lost in 70s. Tone Deluxe 2 is a complete tube amplifier from the pre-amplification stage to the baffles. It's based on a simulation of the ECC83 and EL34 tubes. Tone Deluxe 2 has two channels, clean and high gain. The high gain channel is pretty versatile and the clean channel also has a dirty mode which allows boosting the gain and getting some decent crunch. You also get 12 cabinet models and two models of spring reverb. You can get it on both Mac and Windows. The next VST plugin on the list is Vox & Go Bugax. This one has a simple user interface and great sound. It also includes some cabinet sims that you can turn on and off, or you can even load your own IRs into it. In addition to the typical EQ, you also get an input gate and reverb module. And if you don't care for the big bulky interfaces of most guitar amp sims, you should give Vox & Go Bugax a try as it's very easy to use. It's available on Mac and Windows. Music 
Next on the list is Free Amp from Blue Cat Audio. This one's modeled after some of the legendary real-world guitar amplifiers. The included Classic Clean, Classic Drive, and Modern Drive amp models cover a wide range of guitar amp tones. Just load it up into your digital audio workstation or DAW, choose a preset or an amp model, and play away. And of course, you can tweak everything to achieve your own sound. You can also load your own impulse responses so you're not locked into their cabinet sounds. This one is available for Mac and Windows. Next up is Amp Lion Free. This is a light version of the Amp Lion Pro plugin. You don't get the same number of simulated amps and effects as its bigger brother, but you can still experience the superior quality and true sound of a real analog amplifier. As you can see, it has built-in cabinet simulation and you can turn that on and off. Plus the layout is easy to navigate, allowing you to dial in your own sound with ease. It's available on Windows and Mac, and plus you also get a great free bass amp plugin bundled with it too. Now, if you want to check out even more free VST plugins, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane. Keep creating, and we'll talk soon.